Hi. We continue with our empowerment series that is aimed at giving courage, strength at a time like this where the hearts of men is failing. Yesterday on YouTube, we loaded a lot of video clips on the topic Fear Not. The message is timely because there's so much fear in the air. People quick, some people quick and tremble at the news. When you hear the news, you are worried, you are anxious. Courage and strength fail you. You are at a wit's end, wondering what next. Some of us don't even sleep well because of the activities around. A lot of movements have been curtailed. A lot of plans on hold because of the insecurity. So much fear. We are here to say fear not. And this morning we continue by reminding you of whom you are. <laughs> Who are you in Christ Jesus? We are children of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Let me give you a quick rundown of the characteristics of a lion. The lion is said to be a well-muzzled cat. And in Christ Jesus, we are well-muzzled. We have strength. Because God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is inside of us. 1 John 4, 4 says, A greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So we must not fear. We must not lose heart. We must not lose courage. We must not lose hope in government. And some of us have even lost hope in God. Because you've been praying. It may not be even about the nation. Concerning an issue, circumstances, situation. And you've prayed and it's like so many questions. God, why this? Why that? Why this? Well, I've come to remind you. Before I began to preach this message yesterday, I also had to encourage myself. Because that yesterday, around 2 a.m., I had to go and wake my senior pastor, like I said in one of the video clips. I said, come, we can't sleep. I don't usually waste him. This is the first time I was I'm waking him up. In about 30 years of marriage, I don't wake him. I don't like waking him when he's sleeping. But I look at the news that was trending on YouTube. I say, Kai, this news. If we wait till the daybreak, we may be overtaken by events. I figure I'll wake him and say, come. Let's go and check this news out. And that's how we came down. Check CNN. Check Al Jazeera. Check all the Nigerian stations to see what is trending. This is where we are at. I know people are always on the phone, always looking for the latest information. But I've come to say that let not your heart be troubled. We are well muzzled. And if you are not yet well muzzled, I will tell you how you can be well muzzled. So this is a gentle reminder for those of us that already know Christ, that are in Christ Jesus. That we should not be afraid at all, at all, at all, at all by what is happening. The lion is an animal that when he roars, it is said that eight kilometers away, you can hear him roaring when he roars. Eight kilometers away. So the, the lion may be here, but in the jungle, once he roars, there will be confusion everywhere. Hyperactivity. Because the way the sound is, they don't even know whether it's here or the, nobody knows it's eight kilometers away. Everybody's running, 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 running. That is how we are supposed to put fear in the heart of the enemy. We have the power to put fear in the, in the heart of the enemy. That they'll be quaking, they'll be shaking. We are not the ones to be jealous. They are the ones that are supposed to be jealous. So this morning I'm saying to you, wake up. The lion has strong leadership skills. That's why in the jungle, this is regarded as king of the jungle. Our leaders must wake up. 
Our leaders must come together. We must come together and put our strength together. On the YouTube channel, under the banner of love, we have loaded on unity. This is the time to lay aside uh, sectarian politics, to lay aside denominationalism, to lay aside different sects and all that. And our agenda, our goal is just one. And that is Christ-centered. Christ-centered. It must not be said that in our time, Christianity is no more. It must not be said that in our time, we are running around. It must not be said that in our time, we are displaced. Uh -uh, it's an error. It must not be said that in our time, the nation could not be delivered. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. The Israelites were to be destroyed. But one person, Esther, woke up. And in Esther 14, 15, say, if I perish, I perish. But she did not perish as she, as she stood in the gap for her nation. Let's stand in the gap for our nation. In Exodus 22:30, Ezekiel 22:30, I've always wondered why the children of Israel go into captivity when the atrocities they committed. It's not like those that were committed in the wilderness. In the wilderness, even though they were seeing live the activities of God, what he was doing is also part demonstrated. Yet, they walk in absolute disbelief. Absolute disbelief. The blessings he gave them, they use it to create an idol for themselves. But in the book of Ezekiel, you see them going to captivity. The answer was in Ezekiel 22.30. Ezekiel 22.30, And I sought for a man that would stand in the gap for the land. He didn't see. In Exodus, the people were not destroyed because they did not go into captivity or destroy because Moses always stood in the gap. You must get up in sincerity. The problem is there's no sincerity. There is no truth. We are doing it half and half and half and half and half and half. Half and half. Half and half. When we're supposed to come together and be praying and be crying to God. It is in the place of prayer that he will turn things around. Now, more than ever before, the leadership skills of the church is being called together. As lions, the Bible says that the lion has strong leadership skills. Let's wake up and use it. The lion is ag aggressive. When we talk about aggressiveness, we are not saying go and carry arms. No, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal at all, at all, at all. Ephesians 6 12. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So instead of saying you want to fight, oh no, no. We are saying in the place of prayer, we are to engage our aggressiveness is to be aggressively spiritually. Then when we are aggressive spiritually, God will release his angels and the angels will go. Yesterday we gave you the reading assignment on Second Chronicles 20. Where three powerful kings came, the king of Ma, king of Ammon and Monsea. In the Bible, so many examples, we've loaded it on YouTube. You go there, I'll not repeat myself. Of how Caleb alone called upon God. He didn't say we, he said me, I'm well able. <laughs> and Joshua prayed for him alone, not as a group, and he went. And he took the fortified city of Hebron. We can make it. We can make it. Let's wake up. Let's lay aside our differences. It's not the time to be spending on things that are unnecessary. No. This is the time to spend for things that make for togetherness. Calling for prayers, calling for prayers, calling for fasting, call for this. We must come together. The lion is courageous. Don't be afraid. We are bringing this clip to say, be courageous. Be courageous. Be courageous. Receive strength. Strength to continue. Strength not to be tired. At that problem, at that situation. Don't say, no, I won't serve God again. He didn't answer me. No, 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 no. These are all parts of the race. The world is not our home. We're only passing through. 
it is only your home when you've gotten home you can say oh i have peace i have rest i can sit down our lord and savior jesus christ himself teaching my favorite verse that i keep quoting john 16 33 say my peace i give to you not as the world give it quantifying the peace he said that in this world you have trials you have problems you have tribulations but move on move on move on don't be tired my savior understands it is well move on move on don't be tired my savior understands it is well is able move on move on let's move on we've dwelt long enough on this mountain of complaining we have dwelt long enough on this mountain of murmuring. we have dwelt long enough on this mountain of dissatisfaction let's wake up the lion is brave let's be brave let's confront the situation in the time past when we have crisis and we confronted it headlong in prayers 2015 god answered us there was no war when the abiola mandate was on prayers were offered and god intervened several in our nation the place of prayer cannot be overemphasized so this morning we are saying fear not you are the lion wake up wake up wake up wake up wake up god is depending on you and on me he won't come down and do the fight he has finished he said it is finished on the cross of calvary he said it is finished so if it is finished then we must receive courage we must receive courage and wake up and take our rightful place the lord bless you the lord keep you his containers of favor and of mercy never leave us all in the name of jesus we also speak to government to wake up the forces we see they can't they, anytime any day the machinery of government cannot be overrun by individuals no wake up and do that which is right wake up and take measures if you wake up and you put the proper measures into place not chasing shadows you find out that within a week within two days even everywhere will be okay somebody have always asked the question how big is the sambisa forest how big are our forests we have all these uh, kidnappers and all this how big it is in the north we have been on on the desert on the dry season from the sky you can see everything why is it difficult why is it difficult why is it difficult we make a serious appeal to government to wake up to get up receive courage and strength and combat the problem of insecurity it is a trust the trust has been given to you a mandate has been given to you people entrusted their lives and property to you by voting for you nobody can overrule you nobody knew not external aggressors wake up and take the right action and you see that everywhere will be normalized under one day once the proper actions are taken we are praying for you wisdom of words of thoughts and action may god give to you let's not be like syria syria is battered and scattered when the arab spring started syria said no but assad of syria said his family have been ruling for over 90 years we've made a video clip on that such a youtube channel you see there he says so it will not be in his time that government will cease and he said no instead of stepping aside today libya uh, libya the same thing scattered syria bomb scattered if not for russia they would have been leveled as well but all the edifice destroyed what's the legacy what now can he hold to say that oh this is the schools the hospitals the road to this are the legacy my family put in. <coughs> so we have come a long way come a long way even if we are to separate 
people and saying that let there be no war. Let there be no bloodshed. Let us all rise up to our responsibilities. The citizens and the government, let us all rise up. What's that responsibility for us as children of God? It is in the place of prayer. Being good citizens, we pray for government. We uphold government hands in the prayer of prayers, in the place of prayers. We are love abiding. Demonstrations will not solve it. Posting negative things on the media will not solve it. But God can solve it for us. If you are out there, you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. And he has imparted courage and strength to us. As the lion of the tribe of Judah, we are made in his likeness, in his image. So therefore, we are also lions. Let's not be like the chicken. No. Let's not be like those that don't know their rights and be shaking. No. Let's wake up. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for our nation, Nigeria. Thank you for grace and strength to do that which is right. Wisdom to do that which is right on behalf of leadership and ourselves. Thank you very much for streamlining. We'll continue. We have a series of short videos this morning. As God leads us, we've started this morning, took a break, and we want to continue because there is need to speak strength, to speak life. Above all, you must encourage yourself. <laughs> First Samuel 36, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. Whatever challenge you are going through, don't wait for government, don't wait for your husband, don't wait for wife, don't wait for child. You wake up and encourage yourself. And as you encourage yourself, you find strength to continue in the name of Jesus. To give your life to Jesus is very simple. All you need to do is to acknowledge that you need him. Invite him to take charge of your life. And after that, get a Bible, the main Bible, get it. The phone has its own place. But to study, you need a, 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 a book Bible. You open it with a daily devotional and study. But the phone is good, but it will bring in a lot of distractions. You are disciplined. But whether you are disciplined or not, you need a Bible to study. And you must find a Bible-believing church to attend. Then you will be grew, you will be strengthened, you will be encouraged. Thank you, Jesus. Next one, we need to go back again. Check our YouTube blog. On Facebook, we have five channels, five pages. Church on the Air, Search the Scriptures, Nation Building, When You Pray and I Pray, Ministers of the Truth, Visit Them, Like Them. We are on Facebook, not to make canal friends, no, but to make friends for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To encourage you, to strengthen you, that when you pick, the social media you look, your heart will not be troubled. You can be sure that you can see fine clips that edify, that encourage, that strengthen in the name of Jesus. A very pleasant day to you. Thank you. We'll continue the next one. Thank you.